Oxford, who are looking for the three points as well. And a blustery but bright and sunny afternoon here on Merseyside. It's also a warm welcome to Prenton Park for John McGreal, wearing number five for Tramia, making his home debut. Thomas takes it, it's knocked in and headed away by Lewis, held further forward by Beecham. One against two at the moment, Dernan is shadowed by Mungall. He's going the long way round, quite sensibly actually. He's done an awful lot of running, and that's a ball inside to Bannister. Good play that by John Dernan. No power on Bannister's shot though. And Martindale gets the ball off Nixon, brings it away for Tranmere. Space now for Irons. Thought about the shot, lays it out to Malkin on the right. Good cross in from Malkin. Aldridge looking for the header, Thomas shot. Good save by the keeper, Paul Key. Had a full view of it. Oh. Jilting up, Aylott finds Lewis. McGreal's header, Nolan's way back to goal. Oh! Bit of a mistake, and Dernan's in. And there's a goal for Oxford. A mistake by Ian Nolan. <laughs> Mungol for Tramia. Aldridge! He's done it! It's 1-1. John Aldridge has got that goal. Well, it's all happening here in the last two or three minutes. And Melville, it's a very dicey game to play. And Magilton looking to get Beecham away. He's got in, he scored! Joey Beecham has scored for Oxford. We've had a minute of stoppage time. stopping stuff if you're an Oxford fan and to be fair they deserve what they've got this afternoon and it's not over until the final whistle blows and Paul Key who made a good stop from Martindale in the first period has been one of the heroes